All right, so here's the problem I'm having. I've got this new bracket um, for the power steering pump. It comes with three pieces, this arm for the front, this arm for the back, and then uh, another piece over there I'll show you later. Now this is supposed to be a certain width apart. Just like that, when this is all tightened down, it's supposed to be a certain width apart. And the water pump uh, fits in between those two brackets in here. And it also included this spacer. So you'll slide the bolt through, it'll go through the water pump, and then you're supposed to slide on this spacer. And then you slide this guy on, and you tighten it all, and it goes through far enough to put a bolt on it. The problem is uh, when you do that it's actually way wider at that end than it is down here. It sits something like that. Uh, that's problem number one. So I actually need to cut that spacer in half. Um, I'm just going to use some thicker washers and it'll do the trick. Problem number one solved. The next problem is once you do get the spacing right there's no room behind this bracket to slide a nut in there between this and the block. Let's go take a look. There is the other piece of this um, bracket. That's where the uh, obviously where it adjusts, and it bolts into the top of the water pump here. So it replaces the original bolts that actually mounted. And then underneath that, there's a third um, I don't know, journal or whatever, a place to put the bolt through. And that is where right there you put the bracket on this end, slide the bolt through, then you're supposed to put the spacer then the bracket, and then a nut after that, but there's no room to fit it all that. Even after I get down the spacer and I get that spacing right, there's still no room for a nut. Uh, there's barely room for the for the other bracket. I'll show you, you notice they, they cut one top of the bracket in half or, or off to make it flat so it'll fit up in there. Um, so there's two options you could spend some time and with a grinder if you have the right kind of tools just grind away at the block and uh, maybe even a little bit of the water pump there just to give yourself enough room but I don't want to do that so what I'm gonna do is I actually had to cut the bolt down for one because it would run into the block before the head of it even bottomed out on this, on this side. So I had to cut the bolt down. Um, this is probably kind of a, uh, well it is a universal kit so I just didn't realize it'd be this much involved. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of trying to grind on the block to make room for the net, I'm gonna drill this hole out a little larger to slide a nut in it. I'm going to put this nut right inside the head there so it'll actually be and then I'll weld it so the nut will be inside the bracket and the bolt will thread right into the bracket itself it'll become one piece you won't have to worry about trying to use your big fat fingers to hold a nut in place and then there's that flat spot that they put on it to try to make room but it's just not enough I'll let you know how that goes here it is drilled out I took a step bit and it just went uh, from both sides.
And I think what I'm going to do is just try to press the nut in there without making it too big, uh, the hole any bigger. And here it is pressed in. Let's see here. I just used a piece of metal behind it. Looks like it could be, oh well. Looks like the bracket's a little tapered, so maybe that's what's going on. Well, it's, it's in there. It's flush, actually, with the back end. And that's what happened. It's bottomed out. So... It's kind of exactly what I wanted. Focus you. I think I'm gonna. God, I want to leave it. Almost. But I think I should throw a weld in there anyway. On this, maybe on this side.